so doing this uh, impromptu video because I wanted to document down at the start of uh, 2021 which is gonna come in uh, three more days on the 4th Feb according to Dato Joey Yap uh, It happened that I'm a Koi Water Day Master so how I normally use this uh, annual Bazi which is going to be the Singcho, the metal ox for 2021 so we definitely see that uh, at the top there is this uh, indirect resource okay then the, in the hidden branch there is a 7k so uh, it depends on how we're going to use this information but if I look at it or what I understand is that first since these two are the so called like the main chi so I'll just focus on what I think I'll be doing definitely for indirect resource uh, you'll be learning something that's out of my learning a, a new a new skill that's that's out of my current scope out of my current scope so I need to figure out or analyze or make it relevant maybe if right now I'm doing the business process it could be learning something like um, coupled with what I learned from uh, FSA or one of his sessions he was talking about uh, the hero being in my Chima Destiny Palace so things like uh, things that I identify is like broadcasting so broadcasting is totally not what I have well or not definitely not what I'm doing in my daily role right so, thus even you look right now uh, it is how to do a story tell thus I got this uh, iPad right now so whatever you're seeing is what I'm writing so that's learning a new skill, how to tell a story. Um, so that's basically what I can interpret of the indirect resource, right? And uh, the seven K means that uh, depending on how we look at it, first definitely is a, a hidden courage la. It also means hidden problems also. Most of the time, I will always use the 7k to help myself gain some foresight into the problems that may be happening what are the type of problems that may happen there are two types okay let's use red color first one I have the indirect resource the second one is the friend star Right, so in that resource first, what I'll determine it as a information flow. Resources to do my work, uh, which I have started experiencing. Right, then the friend star is the people around, people around me. Right, it can be colleagues. Like, uh, for example, uh, team members. But what really would exactly happen? I just have to take note, uh, and it's also the interaction with the uh, with my NATO party chart. And it happened that I have a good uh, in my hour. So when there's a clash, uh, I this year what I definitely see is that um, certain mindsets that I had. Um, have have started to change so this is what I do uh, normally uh, when a new year comes because the whole team will be more of like okay first we have the the indirect resource right which means uh, more of learning something and there's also some problems that will be coming up and through these problems uh, it will 
bring me to the next level if I adapt and be nimble towards changing uh, the my attitude towards uh, the problems. So uh, this is how I do the annual Pazi chart interpretation for myself because uh, I always remembered that there was this part where uh, Dato Julia always mentioned which if you happen to be uh, listening for the first time uh, please go and follow him I think f- the intention is to have foresight F-O-R-E-S-I-G-H-T so that I can know what are the cho- what are the choices or options okay choices no let's say that it is the options so that I can make or I can choose and turn one of the options into a choice so this is uh, how I use uh, the, the simple annual Pazi chart of uh, the year Metal Ox uh, to give myself foresight. When it comes to 2022, I'll be looking and reviewing what exactly happened in 2021.